The Mike Oh Radio Show on 102.5 The Bone. Damn, son, where'd you find this? He never holds back, and he speaks his mind. Welcome back to Hoppy Hour. <laughs> Hoppy Hour. Hoppy Hour. Ah, uh, let's get right into it. This is five minutes of Hoppy Hour. I am your host, Ryan Hoppy, 727-579-1025. And 1-800-771-1025. Cause she's still my wife. It ain't no it ain't no oh, paperwork. I love that. I love, you know I love that. Kanye West just made it crystal clear. He wants Kim Kardashian back. Why is it that whenever Kanye West is obsessive over Kim Kardashian, we just pass it up as, oh, that's just him being him. But if it was any random dude in Largo who broke up with his girlfriend and kept saying, that's my girlfriend, even though they broke up, he would be a psychopath. Why? Because Kanye West is also a psychopath. Believe and trust in him that he will always eventually explain himself because I know his heart. On Thursday, the Grammy winner appeared on Revolt's podcast, Drink Champs. By the way, so he was on this show, Drink Champs, and shout out to Kanye West, because I never heard of Drink Champs. I don't think anybody heard of Drink Champs, but oh man, if you were to manifest a big break, it would be having ye on. Marking the rapper's first big interview since the release of Donda, his long-awaited 10th studio album that dropped back in August. And why are we being so polite about Donda? It was absolute garbage. Besides off the grid, you know how much of a narcissist he is? He didn't even list any of the other artists on the platform. So I don't know if that's a song with The Weeknd or that. But once again, we're talking about the psychopath known as Kanye West. He's very likable as a psychopath, but I wouldn't want to hang out with him. He's crazy. Also, it might be because I'm crazy and I just don't see us mixing well. He's done miracles on me. And during the chat, Kanye got candid about his split from Kim after six years of marriage. SNL making my wife say I divorced him on TV because they just wanted to get that bar off. And I ain't never even seen the papers. We never even divorced. Okay, you may have not seen the paperwork, Kanye West. But you know what's going on while you're on Drink Champs? Pete Davidson is banging out your soon-to-be ex-wife. Oh, by the way, by saying the word Pete Davidson, I can hear all the radios in Tampa being offended that I just complimented Pete Davidson. First of all, I'm sick of this whole thing where everybody goes, how does Pete Davidson get all of these girls? I don't know. It doesn't matter. He's getting the girls. Do you ever notice that it's the small D energy that always rips into Pete Davidson. While he's living the life, you're hating on him. And that's the same thing Kanye West is doing. Man, Pete Davidson is winning in life. Imagine that, you grow up listening to Kanye and then you're banging his ex-wife and you're also Eskimo Brothers with half the NBA. Uh, so how we, because that ain't no joke to me. Of course, Kim filed for divorce back in February, and when the KKW Beauty founder hosted Saturday Night Live last month, she addressed their breakup during her opening monologue. When I divorced him, you have to know it came down to just one thing, his personality. <laughs> and why would you want to go back to that? Why would you ever want to go back to a woman that insults you? And it doesn't matter about the gender. If it was him doing it about Kim, I would never want to go back to somebody that rips into me on a late night monologue. If anything, that shows that Kanye West overcompensates all the time and has no confidence that he can find a better woman, which he probably can't. I know that sounds mean, but people keep telling me that comedy comes from truth. And if there's one thing that I always strive to be, it's genuine. Now Kanye says he wants to get back together. Well, my my kids good. want their parents to stay together. Right. I want they care. I want us to be together. Yeah, but don't force it at the same time. He's making it about the kids now, even though he uh, talked about almost getting an abortion when he was running for president. Remember that? Oh, but the kids I love. Together too. But if you look at the media, that's not what they're promoting. Right. That's not what they want. They want it to be a new wedding, a new episode, a new TV show. And then they have people all around and my... 
All right, I don't care anymore. He's just babbling at this point. Spencer is in. He will be bored out being the best of Johnny B next. If you want to hear more of my show, which I'm going to manifest either in a big market or in this town, uh, search Hoppy Radio on every single platform. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, TuneIn, Spreaker, H-O-P-P-E Radio, and spread the word. Happy Hour. Happy Hour. Happy hour is now over. And like that, he's gone. You're listening to the Mike Owen Radio Show on 102.5 The Bone.